Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline. Um, and today we are going to be doing the uh, card of the day for Monday. And as I promised, we're going to do the medicine wheel. Since I did the uh, reading about the medicine wheel um, and about the wheel in general um, yesterday. Um, and so I said, you know what? The, or the first thing we'll do on Monday is the uh, medicine wheel and it's the number 10. So that's great. It's a great number for the wheel because it has the circle in it, but also it, it dials down to one and it's also at the end. So it's the end and the beginning and it's a, a cycle. Okay. So we'll look in the book. Um, so for this week, we're going to again do the uh, messages from the Native American deck because it was so much fun last week. The book has so much great information about uh, Native American culture as well as about uh, tarot. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look at number 10, the wheel. The medicine wheel is a large circle of um, 12 to 16 stones and three inner circles, the center being of seven stones and the others of four stones, each placed with a, a stone in each of the for directions. I have to uh, use my thing. Okay. Each of the four directions has a spirit keeper. The buffalo is in the north. Okay, so remember uh, last night we were talking about the four directions. And the uh, first direction was the uh, south, west, north, and east. So the north is the buffalo. Um, the eagle is in the east, the bear is in the west, and the coyote, or sometimes the mouse, is in the south. The four spirit keepers are each placed with a time of year, a time of day, a color, and an attribute. So it's kind of like the uh, zodiac signs for us. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see here. The buffalo's color is white. His time is midnight. And his season is winter. And his attribute, the gift of wisdom. The eagle is gold, morning, spring, and illumination. Uh, morning, spring, and illumination. The coyote or mouse is Green, midday, summer, and the powers of growth, trust, and innocence. The bear is black, evening, autumn, and introspection. Um, the, cannibalist, the cannibalistic uh, magical virtues, to know, to will, to dare, and to keep silent, correspond to the four directions. So, to know, to will, to dare and to keep silent. The medicine wheel then is much more than a circle of stones. It's a roadmap of life, a path to follow and a way to grow. The medicine wheel card shows the sun and the moon represented the four times of day. The stones are set up at the base of a pair of burial mounds, all hallowed ground with a forked stick in the center acting as a sundial and colored uh, sand marking the four directions. When you stand on the medicine wheel, where you stand on the medicine wheel depends on your date of birth. You choose whether to grow only in body or to follow the medicine wheel and acquire the gifts, powers, and attributes of all four directions. The way in which you travel the wheel indicates the blending of the directions. 
So this wheel, as you move through the different uh, colors and the different directions in your life, and you grow, so you start in one and you work on that first, and then you move through the different uh, sections. The card represents the continual, continually changing uh, universe. Here is the supreme unity of attainment and joy ruled by that incalculable factor, the element of luck. Okay. So it's a certain time when you're born, and according to that time and date and everything when you're born, that's where you uh, start out on the wheel and you move through the wheel and you move through the uh, different phases. And so, you, uh, so for instance, if you were to uh, start, you could work, move through these different things um, to know, to will, to dare, and to keep silent. So that's a, a pretty interesting card. Um, it still has some of that element of luck, of divine timing, and uh, and also it has kind of that element of um, astrology and, you know, being a, one of the zodiac signs. And it goes along with that. Okay, thank you for coming to the uh, video for today, and I'll see you on Tuesday.